Laurence, welcome to this interview. Uh, would you quickly introduce yourself and your bank? Thank you for, for having me. So I represent City Private Bank in Switzerland. Uh, I'm responsible for our presence uh, in the country. Uh, City uh, has been in the country for about 60 years, so we are very committed to, to Switzerland. Uh, we have the private bank, but also the commercial bank, uh, the corporate bank, investments, uh, markets, TTS. So not only the private bank, but we have uh, different departments pr present and committed to, to Switzerland. M my role is uh, to, to drive uh, City Private Bank in Switzerland. And you know well the place. I mean, you have been here for some time. I've actually spent a third of my career in Geneva, where I'm based at, at the moment. I was heading investments in London uh, before for City Private Bank, so my background is very much investments, uh, but I, I know the place uh, indeed. We speak a lot about sustainable finance now. Geneva tries to, 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 to appear on the map of this, this, this big trend. Um, would you name a few trends in sustainable finance that investors should be aware of? Especially around private equity and direct uh, deals. And the role we play in bringing these solutions is around the due diligence uh, that we perform, uh, just to make sure that uh, we deliver the returns over time and that the capital is uh, invested uh, properly. So we provide the deals and the due diligence um, for private equity, which, uh, given the volatility of, of the, the, the environment and, and the current markets, um, investors are expecting double-digit returns uh, for private equity uh, in general in their asset allocation. And it's not unusual for family offices to have up to 50% sometimes invested in private equity. And sustainability represents a, a key theme. So the, the clients, when you say investing with purpose, doesn't run away. I mean, purpose, the, the topic of this very conference, is also important for clients? Actually, we don't call uh, sustainability at City Private Bank uh, ESG or impact. We call it investing with purpose. Okay. So we definitely relate to, to the theme of, of the conference. Absolutely. Would you have in mind uh, good examples of purpose-driven leaders? I mean, do you have sources of inspiration in this um, school of thought, like purpose-driven? And Switzerland is playing a key role in this thought leadership. If I think about the world organizations uh, who are based uh, here and, and the conversation that we're having, uh, trying to raise, uh, for example, private placement to, head, uh, to, to help UNICEF or, or the World Bank, uh, which we have done for, for our clients. So the, the world organization, all the conversation around uh, Davos, uh, of course, and just to give you a concrete example, um, at City we have uh, decided to build a team based in Zurich uh, around uh, digital uh, currencies. Uh, that's part of City Venture. And the, the reason why uh, this team is based in Zurich, it's because we think that there is thought leadership, there are a lot of uh, startups uh, and experts based here and add a lot of support to develop um, the, the, the themes. So that's one of the examples of uh, the importance of thought leaderships in Switzerland. What role do you see for Geneva in this, um, and what opportunities as well in this like uh, purpose-driven world? Do you think this, this city has a role to play? Absolutely, and the more we talk about uh, the main themes, uh, definitely in Geneva there are lots of conferences going on where we try to bring a lot of content experts and by bringing people together we will for sure uh, contribute and Geneva is very active. Uh, I can think of a lot of conferences uh, that are scheduled between now and, and the end of the year and in person, which is even nicer. We often say in Geneva that somehow the money uh, with the banks is on the left side of the river and the international organizations, the UN, the NGOs are on the right side of the river and that sometimes people do not cross the bridge. So there is this conference building bridges to support sustainable finance, but do you see uh, people crossing more and more the bridge. And I attended the, the last one, by the way, building bridges. Uh, that was, uh, City played a role in this. The opportunities are, are tremendous. Uh, first of all, we have international 
uh, wealthy individuals uh, who are very aware of what's happening in the world. And Switzerland is playing a key role in terms of bringing uh, people together from the public sector to the private sectors. Uh, and there are a lot of conferences go going on. And we want to make sure that we are there because we do have access uh, to the private sector. Uh, and we need to make sure that the, the capital f flows to uh, sustainability by bringing the, the, the right um, investment opportunities. About source of inspiration, uh, do you have a, a, a person, a, a man or woman in mind that, that represents for you what is a purpose-driven um, leadership? Do you have like a figure that inspires you? in history or in the present time? Many people I can think of, but and at this conference we had a, a lot of examples, but I, I follow very closely what Christine Lagarde is, is doing around diversity these days, uh, digital currencies, uh, it's not sustainability directly, but these are very important uh, trends in terms of thought uh, leadership. So this is uh, someone I, I follow very closely. For Do example. you know her? N no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we'll get Don't Not worry. yet. <laughs> okay, we are coming out of uh, two years COVID crisis, just to enter another global crisis, which is the war in Ukraine, with probably large consequences all over the world. Uh, how do you see uh, the, the the world after that, if if there is a, an, an end, uh, hopefully? How, do you think there will be a better world after these two crises? Absolutely. There, there are lots of positives and benefits coming from uh, the, the COVID times, for, for example. If I think about how we run the company uh, today, we are much more mindful of work-life balance, for example, the happiness of employees. So in terms of well-being, um, uh, less traveling or more efficient traveling, for, for, for example. So we have adjusted uh, in terms of how we conduct uh, business with our clients and internally as a firm. So that's one of, of the benefits that I think will lead to uh, happier employees and uh, more efficient uh, use of, of the time of our clients and, and our specialists. In addition to uh, the acceleration uh, towards more digi digitalization um, coming from the COVID world, I would say that uh, some of the key uh, benefits would be around uh, sustainability, um, the, the place uh, that ESG and impact investing has taken uh, in people's mind, private investors, and as an institutional um, intermediary uh, and managing wealth for our clients, we think we have a role uh, to play uh, to bring solutions uh, to the private sector. Um, I mean, to lead to a, a better world, we would need uh, the public, but also the, the private uh, flow of money into uh, sustainable causes. And I think that's what we are trying to, to achieve by bringing the right investment opportunities and raising awareness uh, as well. Do you think the investors have kind of a mission or a responsibility to, to make things better after these two crises? Absolutely. Investors, uh, but, but also everyone. Uh, I guess as is much more aware uh, in, in many areas of uh, the role that each of us uh, can play uh, in this field. So absolutely clients, uh, but also professionals, entrepreneurs, uh, fund managers, uh, everybody is, is trying to play a role and we will be measured. And are you, um, and what are your clients demanding for, for that? Are they demanding purpose? They are definitely asking uh, for uh, tangible investment solutions. Uh, I would say that maybe three years ago, the type of impact investments that clients could access were very small deals uh, from people um, they would meet within their network. Uh, and what clients are asking is more scale around, around this. So investment opportunities where there is a minimum of due diligence being performed, in terms of tracking, measuring the impact. Uh, so that's what clients are, are asking mainly the op to bring the opportunities with the right size and um, how we are going to, to measure uh, the impact that they are expecting. 
And this is a game changer. I mean, it can it can scale up sustainable finance a lot, no? Absolutely, it's 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 really a way to direct the private uh, capital uh, into uh, sustainability.